Hey, what's up, guys? It's Peter Pinto from the Fit Labs Las Vegas, and this week I want to talk about the future of our country, our child athletes. Now, I have about 15 years of experience training kids, helping them get better at their sport, helping them develop skills such as agility, strength, speed, and I've also helped a lot of kids with developmental issues that have held them back from playing sports and games with other kids their age. And you know, the biggest obstacle that gets in my way? Other coaches. The way other coaches are training kids nowadays, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. It, it almost seems as if they're just trying to build mental toughness by running them into the ground and making them practice and practice and practice. It makes it nearly impossible for kids to reach their full potential. There are a lot of great coaches out there, and I know their intentions are good, and many have great knowledge of their sport. But the problem I see time and time again is that our kids are pushed much too hard on the field, or in the gym, or on the wrestling mat, whatever sport that they're playing. It looks like the exercises given to kids in practice just are designed to make them tired, not make them better at their sport. So let me give you a little example. I had one of my guys come in. He's a 10-year-old soccer stud. So on this particular day, he walked in, and he was kind of limping. And I said, hey, what's going on, buddy? He said, well, you know, coach, my, my legs are just really sore from running practice. And so I asked him, well, what did you do at running practice? You know, coach, um, we did a whole lot of these. He then proceeded to demonstrate some sort of skier type motion where he put his hands on the back of his head and he put his feet together and then hopped side to side. And then on a whistle blow, he would have to sprint across the field. Hmm. Really? This is the kind of stuff that drives me absolutely up the wall crazy. Sometimes I just want to grab onto these coaches and say, hey, come here. Just teach him how to play soccer. That's it. Please. You know, youth athletes are brought into practice today to whatever sport they're playing, and they're taught to work hard and then work even harder. They're trained as if the best quality an athlete can have is to push through the pain and be mentally tough. Now, this isn't something new, and of course this mentality has been out there for a while, but this is exactly what's holding your child back from finding his or her true potential. In the Fit Labs, we consider everyone an athlete. Life itself is a sport, and it's a full contact one at that, and so we want to make you ready for that sport. Any athlete, young and old, we teach about one core principle that your body always follows no matter what. And that's the said principle. Specific adaptation to imposed demand. This just means that your body is always learning exactly what it's doing. If you're performing high quality repetitions of whatever it is that you're trying to get better at, you'll do exactly that. But if you're performing something incorrectly, then you'll get better at doing it incorrectly. So let's bring this back into perspective with my 10 year old soccer player. His coach had him do what he believed to be a useful agility drill combined with a sprint. Now just think about the game of soccer for a second. You don't have to be a seasoned soccer player or even a fan of the sport to know that at no point in the game does a soccer player clasp his hands behind his head, put his feet together, and then hop down the field like a bunny rabbit. Maybe this is something closer an angry coach might do from the sideline when his team is losing, but still does not even remotely relate to something a soccer player would be doing on the field. So instead, the only thing that this agility drill did to my young athlete is make him really tired before he had to do the truly important part of running. His form was affected by the fatigue set in by the agility drill, and then his run was not even as fast as it would have been if he didn't do that useless exercise prior to. End result, my 10-year-old soccer stud, instead of getting better at soccer during his soccer practice, practiced to run less efficiently and slower. And then when it doesn't get better, the coaches make them do it over and over and over again, getting more repetitions in at being slow. This is the sad reality of what's happening to so many young athletes just trying to get better at their sport. Young athletes that may want to play at a higher level one day when they grow up. The kids who don't seem to be affected by this are saved by their good genetics that help them resist the negative effects of what would be detrimental training techniques. These seem to be the kids who are always better, faster, and stronger than everyone else without even trying. And if it doesn't make them slower or weaker right at the beginning, what this might do is make them break more easily and make them more susceptible to injury. If there's one big thing in youth sports that really bothers me, it's watching kids get stripped of their opportunity to play at a higher level or be the athletes that they could have or should have been by coaches who just don't realize that their lack of attention to detail and the quality of repetition that they have their athletes perform is exactly what's going to stump their progress. So what do we do in the lab that's so different from so many other places? We focus on exactly what kids need to improve on and then break it all down step by step. Now, if you're familiar with our concepts and philosophy here at the Fit Labs, then you know that our focus is on the nervous system. And the nervous system is divided into three parts. 
Number one, your visual system. And this is much more than just 2020 vision and how clear you can see things. It ranks up at number one in importance in the neurological hierarchy, and training your eyes can have lightning fast results in speed, strength, and improving your movement. Number two, your vestibular system. The vestibular system is an organ that most people refer to as your inner ear, but it's actually a little bit beyond that, and it's an organ embedded in the skull that helps control balance and coordination. It's your body's level, and it works with your eyes and tells you where you are in space. And number three, the proprioceptive system. The proprioceptive system is actually your body's 3D mapping system. It lives in your brain and it gets all the information from the peripheral nerves everywhere else in your body. And this is the last piece of the puzzle. We focus on integrating these three systems. And that's what will give your child what we like to call the unfair advantage. So to learn a little bit more about what we're doing at the Fit Labs Kids Athletic Camp, you can go ahead and click the link down below. And that'll take you over to our website where we have everything from the schedule and pricing, all mapped out for you. So go ahead and click that link below and on the bottom of a the page there are fields you can fill out if you'd like to get your child registered for our program here at the Fit Labs. At the end of the day what we're really doing here is we're getting kids more in tune with their body. Understanding how to feel things out so that they really know if they're getting the hang of this new movement that they're trying to learn. When you think about it, when kids are at practice, they're just going through the motions, doing what they're told, doing the drills. They don't really know or can feel if they're getting better at whatever it is they're trying to learn. As parents, we can see when they're improving, but imagine if your child could actually pick out what repetitions are beneficial and which are not. What are the good reps and what are the bad reps? That's when your child can really get a handle on whether or not they're improving, on whether or not what they're doing is the right thing to do. We teach them about efficiency in movement. We teach them about quality of repetition so that they can identify that when they go back to whatever sport they're doing. So to you parents out there, I want you to ask yourselves one question. Is everything that your child is doing in practice geared to make them better at their sport? Or is it just something their coach is doing to try to get them tired and toughen them up? So until next week, my name's Peter Pinto, and this is the Fit Labs Las Vegas. Get in the lab.